And, 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 and let me say this. When it comes to that new new in the hair community, I'ma have it. <laughs> hey child and welcome back to my channel. First, on the day that I'm recording this, it is December 27th. Yes, I do still have on Christmas PJs and yes, Mariah Carey still runs my radio and yes, I am still wearing this ratty little wig because ain't nobody doing no hair. But that brings me to the next point. December 28th is my birthday, so on the day I'm uploading it, it's my birthday. And one of my wonderful husband's gifts to me is, he is giving me a braid for my hair, honey. He got me a braid appointment, so I ain't gotta touch my hair. I think it's really cause he don't like these wigs that I've been wearing, and he was just like, go get your hair done. But either way it go, I'm going to get a break today. And let that be a point of advice for every partner out there. If you have a request for your partner's hair, open up your wallet. So anyway, since he so graciously opened up his wallet, I'm getting ready to go get my hair done now. My braider does prefer that I come with my hair blown out, which brings me to this video, honey. One night in the middle of the night, I was scrolling my explore page on Instagram and a Instagram username, I am Valencia underscore. She did this particular video right here. And let me tell you something. Now I'm not that much of an impulsive buyer, but let me tell you something, even as an influencer, I am influenced. And she made me want to try this out for myself. So I scaried right right on down to Ulta with my own coins and I bought the tool that she used and it is by Revlon. It is their One Step Volumizer Plus. Now be clear, they do have the One Step Volumizer but this one is the plus cause you know we extra, we want the best of the best and that's what we got. I'ma wash and condition my hair off camera and yeah, we are gonna get to trying this out on my hair and see how it works for me. Hey child. Hello lover. All right, so it is time to get this hair done. I literally have 30 minutes to make this happen and honey, listen, I, we got to pray for a miracle. So first of all, if you wanted to see what my hair looks like before I do this whole straightening situation, this is what we're working with. And at this point, I have not detangled my hair, so I'm gonna use this good old Felicia Leatherwood to go ahead and do that. And I wanna be very thorough, cause honey, what I ain't trying to do is snatch all my hair out and look like a bald head chicken. And now that I'm completely detangled, let's go ahead and go in with something that's gonna help me to be hair so soft, silky, and free. The Kira Kara Thermal Wonder. Now, I remember in the early 2000s when I used to go to the shop and get fried out and laid to the side, a brand that my stylist at the time always trusted was Kira Kara. So I figured, even though I ain't never used this particular product, number one is Kira Kara, number two is $20. This thing better work, so let's go ahead and douse this scalp and hair. And when I say douse it, I mean that thing, honey. We going all up and through this thing. Yeah, we still spraying because, honey, you ain't finna make me bald headed and you finna take my curls away either. Yeah, go ahead and get it on in there. Yeah, that too. I, I still ain't done yet. Yeah, we. All right, it's time to get into the goods. And so this is what it looks like when you get it in the box. Mm hmm. Yes, I got it pink because, you know, it's so pretty. All right, so how I put this on here? I guess I should read the directions. Okay, it's pretty good. They got these little arrows where you can just lock it in. I don't know if you can even tell because of the lights. Come on. Yeah, look at the arrows and you can align it and you can lock it. And then on this side is where they have the temperature. So you can see high, medium, low, and all of that. So I am going to start on medium. And I probably should read the directions, but just like with everything in life, honey, we just gonna wing this thing and just pray for the best, all right? And I wanna make sure it's really, really detangled. So yeah, let's run it through one more time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Help us, Lord. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna put this on medium. How you twirl this? All right. So, let's go like this, and I'm gonna use some tension. That's one pass. So this is what it looks like with four passes on medium, and honestly, the medium feels kind of low. So I'm gonna bump this up to high and just pray that we don't mess up. So let's try this one more time. All right, so that was four passes on medium and one on high. And let me tell you something. Number one, this section is almost dry. Did that ride bars, honey? Secondly, honestly, my hair feels good. So I am going to go the rest of the way on high. I'm not focusing on curls because I'm, I'm getting ready to go literally. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going straight to the braid shop. So let me go ahead and just try it. Oh, 
honey, the verdict is in. I like this, especially as an at home tool. This is good. So I'm using it on medium to help get some of the water off of my hair and scalp. And then when I'm ready for it to get really, really straight, I am going to use it on high. So when you look at this particular tool, it has kind of like this wide tooth brush situation right here. And then on this side, it has bristles as well. I don't feel like my hair is getting caught up in there. Um, it honestly feels really good. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just to speed up on time, that's gonna be my method using tension. I'm gonna use it kind of just going down with medium to evaporate some of the water. And then I'm gonna do like maybe two or three passes on high which it doesn't feel super high like like a flat iron like your chi iron or your FHI it don't feel like that at all so yeah let me go ahead and run this through my hair and we're gonna see what this thing talking about so I have used the tool everywhere and number one can I just say it looks like I need to shake it like a Polaroid picture secondly I love this tool but let me give you my honest opinion just in case you are thinking about buying it so the back half of my hair has a looser curl type and the texture is actually finer. And on that section, that blew out my hair a lot silkier than it did in my coarser and tighter curl sections. Now that's not a problem, but I do just want to point out that it did operate differently on my looser, finer hair than it did my tighter, coarser sections of hair. Now, I feel like if you are someone who has loose, fine hair like valencia the one who did the video she has looser and finer hair than me if you have a looser finer type of hair i feel like this could be a one-stop shop where you could use that to not only blow out your hair but you can manipulate it with you know a little bit of tension a little bit of arm workout and it can be a one tool style day for you meaning you can use it as like the little roller brush situation and end up with some pretty little curls you know have you some volume or whatever but as for me in my house while this is an effective blowout, this is definitely not a one-stop shop for me. I would have to, if I wanted a silkier look, I would definitely have to go in with my flat iron. I personally own an FHI, but I would have to go in with my flat iron to really get it really straight. But as far as blowing out my hair with minimal time, that did the daggone thing. Like it was really good for me to just be able to go in there. And I wanna say it took me about 20 minutes to blow out my entire head so for that reason I like the tool now I feel like my hair probably would have gotten straighter if it had comb pieces in there versus the bristle brush but overall y'all I can't complain if I want a quick little blowout I'm going right to that and if I need to straighten I'm gonna go to the shop because I don't flat iron my own hair no more my, my stylist watches me honey and I ain't trying to get in trouble so anyway speaking of stylists let me run to my other stylist get this hair braided and I'll be back and just like that, we are at the end of the video. Number one, it is the next day, which means it's officially my birthday. Go shawty, it's your birthday. Secondly, the responsible influencer thing to do is to come on at the end of the video looking real polished, put together, and have that face beat, but it's my party and I look dusty if I want to. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. And let me go ahead and leave you with a little bit more wisdom because last time I told y'all stop eating chitlins and y'all had a fit, but let me tell you something that we all can agree to. Spend his money. Spend his money. You deserve it. Go in his pocket and spend his money because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I spend his money on my braids. I spend his money on my dinner. I spend his money on my birthday gift. I took his debit card and I burnt a hole in it. Spend his money. Okay, thank you. All right, so that is the end of this video. I am going to be chilling the rest of the day. We had plans, especially because this was our last birthday together before the baby got here. But honey, the way Omarion is turning up this world, my big butt finna be right on in this house. We finna play Uno, pop to Martinelli's, eat me some good food and I'm gonna chill because so I'll see y'all in the comment section so if y'all have any questions leave them down below I love y'all Maki Dada and I'm out this piece bye